Peace and blessings and a whole lot of love. God is out there. Story time. Thanks for tuning in. Yes, y'all know I love talking about that adultery shit I've been through. Every time I can think about parts of it, I'm going to expose it in a video. And if you're looking at it and you don't like it, then don't come to my channel. So let's talk about how the side chick uh, told me. Because I said to her, I was like, well, I don't know why he would. After she told me she was having his baby. Happy to be having a married man's baby. Damn, some females just don't care. But anyway, she was happy to get pregnant by that six. That man who's 6'2", got them long dress and light skin, but no high school diploma, no pension plan, no child, no life insurance, living in the projects. Not really better, better himself. But yeah, she laid down with this married man. She knew he was married because he talked about me like a little bitch. Yeah. You know, he had to do that because, you know, when you're trying to get some coochie and you marry, you got to lie on a wife because you got to make the side chick feel sympathy for you so she can open up them legs and you can score. And then you will continue lying to her because now you know you got her. So, yeah, he felt the need to really bad mouth me. But anyway, when she told me, inboxed me on Facebook about her little child being born by the, my husband, was happy than the fuck she was having his baby shit. I said, well, I don't know why he would get you pregnant. He can't take care of two children he already had because he have a daughter, I have a son before me, and then it's my daughter, and they're a year apart. They're a year apart. So, um, <laughs> yeah, she said he gonna be checking, taking care of her baby. And I couldn't understand why she thought that because, you know, the wife knows her husband's financial status, okay? First of all, I'm gonna tell you right now, I had no business with him. I already spoke about myself, how I must wasn't loving myself, how I didn't value my worth because why was I with a man who couldn't do nothing for me, let alone a baby? But, you know, we do things and then we learn lessons later. So anyway, she went on to tell me he's going to be able, he's going to take care of her baby. So let me give y'all some history on why that's a lie. See, after I left him for cheating and found out that she was pregnant, I didn't file for child support right away. I waited. So I finally filed, I filed for child support. I got to talk slow. I filed for child support in the state of PA. He never showed up to the court days. His um, excuse was he was on parole. But as the judge, as the mastery judge said, yeah, because he was on parole doesn't mean he couldn't, call, he couldn't come to these court days. So he also wrote, went on one of my... On one of my court dates, I was sitting in the room with the clerk, and he was trying to get my husband on the phone because they was looking at the pay stubs that he sent in. So let me tell you what happened with that. He finally got through to my husband. I'm sitting in the, I'm sitting in the, in the listening to the conversation because he had him on speakerphone. He asked him, was he working? He said, yes. He said, um, do you have any other kids? He was like, yes, I have a son. He ain't mention that baby. He ain't tell that court clerk he had that baby. But he did mention his son because his son name was on my child support. Um, he told and so the, the clerk asked him, So are you able to provide provide for your, your son? He was like, Yeah. So he said, Well, I need you to send in the rest of the pay stubs. So my husband was like, Okay, I'll send in the pay stubs. So anyway, when the clerk got off the phone, the clerk said Oh, your husband was the one that wrote the letter and stating that he wanted the case transferred to New York and that the reason why he wanted transferred to, to New York because he was afraid for his life because you threatened him. <laughs> I started busting out laughing. I said, this man's 6'2", with 200 pounds. I'm like 128 and 5'4". How am I going to hurt him? I want to go get a gun or a knife and I'm not trying to go to jail. So, you know, that wasn't happening. So, he left out the room to go talk to his supervisor to find out if the case can be transferred to New York, which I know it couldn't. So, he came back in the room, and he looked at me. He saw me laughing. He said, yo, you read the letter? I was like, yeah. I said, oh, I'm going to threaten him because I said, I, I said, oh, I'll threaten him because I, he was, I said, he afraid for his life because I said, karma is going to get your ass later on down the line. <laughs> He's like, I guess karma is a real person. And me and the clerk started laughing. He said, well... 
We can't award you a child support order because he's living below the poverty level. And before we can order a child support court order, we must make sure that the non-custodial parent is able to take care of himself. Because he was only bringing in around 250 every other week. So that is less than $1,000 a month. So that's really no money. So it's not like he was working full time. And so I still, again, I ask this question. How was this man who cheated on his wife and got you pregnant going to be able to be able to financially support this third child when he's living below the poverty level and he have two other children that he could never take care of. So this is what we get when we sleep around with the wrong man. A cheating man, first of all, is a liar. So whoever he decides to cheat with, he knows whether or not he can run a game on you. Because once he speaks that first lie to you and you believe it, and you start feeling sorry for you start feeling sorry for him, you know he got you. This man told him her he wasn't seeing his daughter. We weren't together. And she believed it all. But she never stopped to verify everything he was telling her. Did she ever ask why she what he wasn't bringing her to his mother house? Or why she never met his daughter? Because if he was, if he's, we separated and he loved you and want to be with you for the rest of the life. Isn't that he going, what he want to share that with his child? So you never met his daughter. Because he knew if he would have took his daughter around you, his daughter would have spilled the beans. Now you may be seeing my daughter on passing, but I know damn well that man ain't bring my daughter to your damn house. It was up in your face because my daughter would have said my my daddy's married because every time my daughter was with him, she would let women know my daddy married because she even told that when I met his godmother, his godmother, my, his godmother was like, your daughter is a mess. When I first met your daughter, she's like, my daddy married. And his godmother said, I'm married too. You don't got to worry. So no, you thinking this man loved you and respect you and is going to take care of your child. When everything that came out of his mouth was a damn lie or fabricated, fabricated. And he never thought, you never thought, well, why are you bring this child around me? You creeping with a married man who you think loves you and respects when he ain't got no respect for you because he laid down with you knowing that he was lying to you. And then he went up in you raw knowing that he cannot take care of the kids he already had. This goes to show you he don't value himself. And he will stick his penis in any woman that will fall for his game. That's number one. Number two, even the fact that I cut him off. Right after the affair was exposed, I left. She thought they were still together. First of all, you're not together with no married man. You're not in a relationship. Y'all are in a situation in which he comes over and fuck you whenever he feels the need to. And because it's new, he's excited, so he's going to be over there as much as he can. And two, he wears off. And then he'll be over there whenever he want his D sucked or he want F. So she said he was going to, she said they were still together, not knowing that she, right after the fear was exposed, he was calling me, trying to talk to me and saying, let's work it out. And even after I left and we end up, I end up coming to New York, we went to a hotel and me and my husband slept together. Stupid me. So this is right after the, the affair was exposed, but this chick really believes this man loves her. Shit, he don't even love me. So I decided, after I found that she was pregnant, I decided to let him go. Right? And um, she said they were still together, not realizing he was trying to reconcile with me. Not realizing, oh, he also told her the marriage was straight. Not realizing that he doesn't want to divorce me. All these things that I already talked about in my videos. And it just goes to show you, when you don't love yourself, you don't think you deserve the best. And you're willing to accept the, anything 
that a man throws at you. If he gives you some attention, you're going to take it. If he smiles at you, you're going to take it. If you don't love yourself and he tells you you pretty, even though he might not mean it, you're going to take it. So I'm saying when you do not love yourself and value your own worth, you will fall for the games that a man has script for you. You go, you're going to audition that man for that role. He's going to play the role that you created for him to get what he wants. And even though she knew that this man had came down here to see me and my daughter, our daughter, back in um, two seven, 2017. And when again, I said, I don't want to be with you. After we don't spend some time together, I said, I want to be with you like that. She still accepted him back into her bedroom. Like this man, this man done already played me when he was cheating and lying on our relationship. Then he turned around and basically he cheated on her with his wife. <laughs> Technically, when you look at it, he turned around and cheated on a side chick with his wife because we were not together. And he came down here to see me several times. And I came to New York. Several so times to see him. Even though we may be legally married, but we are not in a marriage relationship. So he basically was cheating on a side chick with me, the wife. Until I said, you know, let me stop playing these games with him. I don't want him. He has nothing to offer me. He's not bringing anything to the table. And what am I teaching my daughter by entertaining a man who can't do nothing for me, nor her, his own child? So this man had played the both of us. But I said, you know what? Enough is enough for a man. You said you love yourself, right? Amanda is my birth name. You said you know your, your worth, right? You said your daughter deserved better, right? So stop entertaining him. When you know you don't want to be with him like that, stop entertaining him. Cut his ass off for good and let it be. And that's what I did. And I'm has been, because I got to start the cycle all over again. It has been September, October, November, December, January, and February. Six whole months that I have not physically seen them. From time to time, I might send a nasty text message. Because I, every time I think, every time I look at my daughter and feel that she deserved better. But then I have to take a look at myself because I chose to entertain him when I know he had nothing. So a cheating man is not a good man. And I don't care how you look at it. Whether he get with a woman and it works out or not, a cheating man cannot be trusted. And this man don't want to be tied down. He need to be honest with himself. This man is not capable of being a good role model for any child. So you have no right giving out advice to another man, telling another man to take care of the child when you don't take care of yours. But yes, she said he was going to take care of her baby. And she ended up on welfare. And you know when you get on welfare, they're going to ask for the father's information. Now it's up to the woman to give up the information because all you got to do is say, I'm scared. If I give up the information, he's going to come after me. And they won't bother you. But she gave up the information. So now he's in the system. And I think he told me he was paying fifty dollars a month for child support. Cause when he said he on child support, I was like, who got you on child support? I know your son mother don't do it, didn't do it, and I know damn well I didn't do it. Cause I I um reviewed my petition. I was like, why? I've been taking care of all these years. Why I'm gonna do this now? The hell with it. So I left it alone. So he's like, oh, my baby mother. Mm -hmm. Your baby mother got you on child support. Why she got you on child support? Oh, cause. She, she on welfare. Oh, so you slept with a woman that's on welfare. Now, I have nothing against welfare. I was on welfare in my younger years when I started college and when I had my first child. So I have nothing against it, but that should be a stepping stone. That's what I got to say. So anyway, you ended up, I said, you slept with a woman who had to end up on welfare and she gave up your information and put your ass on child support and you still fucking that? Yeah. Men had low self-esteem too. Men had low self-esteem too. <laughs> Not all men are men. Not all men carry a lot of masculine energy. 
Because I don't rest plenty of stories. A man would cheat on his wife. And that woman had that baby. He'd be like, well, I ain't asked you to have that baby. You knew what it was when we got together. But you're not going to fuck up my family. See, that's what a man with masculine energy is going to do. A man with too much feminine energy is going to act like a female. So, yes, how did it go with him being able to support your uh, your baby? But now is he now he in the system. Mm, that's kind of sad. So, yeah, the title of that video, he, he did one. He said men need to start... Stop treating their penises like trash. And women need to stop treating their vaginas like trash. Because men, is some men just stick their penis in any trash receptacle. Because they, they, they horny. And... Let me tell you. One day I was video chatting with my husband. This is when we was on speaking terms. Matter of fact, this was just past like July, I think. And I was like, why you got to add to You know what this nigga said? I need some pussy. You a 38 years old, talking like that. I need some pussy. Oh, I said, well, you better go get it from your baby mother. That's that what came out of his mouth at that age. I need some pussy. You don't have no self-control. You don't have no discipline. Go ahead, because you're going to stick your penis in somebody's vagina, and your ass going to end up with HIV. You keep sleeping with them, side chick. You go ahead. You keep on sleeping with him. Keep on not loving yourself and sleeping with that man. You're going to get more than what you bargain for because that man don't have no self-control or no self-discipline. He don't love himself. So, yes, I'm going to always talk about adultery because adultery is wrong. If you're not ready to be married, then don't do it. Don't try to, don't do it to shut the woman up. Don't do it because society says you should be married. Don't do it. If you're not ready to be a wife or a husband, don't do it. If you feel that you're not capable of taking care of a family, then don't do that shit to yourself. Be single. This way you can sleep with anyone you want to. But be sure to protect yourself and then let that woman know what's up. Maybe you should have went to her and said, look, I'm married, but I want to sleep with you. Maybe she would have played her role a little bit better. I'm thinking that she was the first lady. <laughs> she thought she was the first lady. I bet you that man ain't never introduced her to his friends or at work. And yeah, because a man takes you to his mother's house does not mean you're the one. Because see, some mothers going to support what they low-life sons do. I'm not that type of mother, so my sons have never been the type of dudes that's going to bring every female that they may be entertaining in my house. Because they already know. If you already brought one, that's the one you say you love. When you bring another one, well, I'm going to let her know what's going on. So just because a man takes you to his mother's house does not mean you the one. There's several reasons why he might do that. Or he just may have a mother that don't give a shit. She's not loyal to none of the females that he bring. But yeah, stop believing everything a man tell you. That's how you get played. And then you cannot blame the man. You have to really take accountability for yourself. Because had you been loving yourself and knowing that you deserve best. First of all, why are you going to sleep with a married man that can't do nothing for you? Because first, first of all, I'm not into married men. I never have been. Ever since I was a little girl outside, I, I would never entertain a married man. And another, a married man has never approached me because I don't got stupid written over my head. But anyway, if you're going to cheat with a man, I'm not saying be a hoe or a prostitute, but God damn it. Get something out of this shit. And know your role. Don't be single to a married man who's cheating. Because if he's cheating on his wife, he's going to cheat on you. Point blank. Peace and blessings and a whole lot of love. God is idea.